there are two hunting breeds or types of hunting dogs that are used uh, in Europe on the bigger scale that are running dogs or terrier breeds. Bird dogs are the terrier breeds mostly. Exception could be the, for example, the Heide Terrier, which is developed as a recent breed to catch and find those that are uh, wounded. So, especially for pigs, hawks, swines. And the running dog is often like a greyhound or whippet. But also the lurcher breeds. The lurcher is often a cross between running dogs, but also sometimes more stronger types are introduced like the bull or collie or something else to improve, improve their feet or their coats or their strength and those can even be used to hunt swine, hawk or other big game. In Australia they developed for example blue arab which consists of running dog but also some blue blood from the Blue Terrier, the Blue Mastiff, and the Great Dane, which are very capable of taking down hawks. It's like an uh, Australian version of the Dogo Argentino. And the Terriers, most of them are used to go below ground. But, for example, the Yacht Terrier, again, like a smaller version of the Heide Terrier, also help to catch swine above ground or other quarry. You can also uh, use his good nose to smell the bloodlines if the animal is uh, rounded so that they can take, take the animal out as quickly and humane as possible. And the uh, German Jagd Terrier or German Hunting Terrier, it's an interesting breed. It's very uh, agile, very fast, has good uh, lungs, can hunt all day, they say. But um, can also be used for other, yeah, more pointer or uh, retrieving kind of activities. Has quite a good nose. I think a little bit better than the better dill has. It's a little bit less powerful for its size as compared to the better dill terrier, but can be quite big. Also in uh, Eastern Europe, for example Serbia, they have very big lines of yacht terriers that uh, I can imagine they use for hawk hunting as a local variant of what we have in Germany. That's the Heide Terrier. And there's also like a Westfalen Terrier they use to, to be uh, rambushes to drive out uh, the quarry out of the bushes. A little bit like the Spaniel type of dogs too. Hey Spikey. This is BSL's Estacado. Otherwise known as uh, Spiker. He's now 10 months old. Petadil Terrier, Fell Terrier if you like. Some also call it uh, Smooth Haired Lakeland Terriers. But I think Petadil or Fell Terrier is the most precise description of what it really is. It's an essence, uh, essence of working dog, of working stock. And used a lot below earth. That's his specialty of this breed. It's quite a silent dog, but can also have a little bit of baying in them to locate where the quarry is. Also for those who are helping him, those that are digging towards him. And especially use some foxes and badger. In Europe it's a European badger. In the United States of America, there's an American 
derivative thereof, which is a different species altogether. Also quite good on rats, but there's also a different area for that, the plummet area, but the latter suffers a lot due to uh, inbreeding depression, whereas the petadil has a much broader base, and I think it could be at least as good as the plummet area for this purpose. But yeah, especially if you would select like 10 generations for this purpose. However, those from the plummet area side state that the plummet area is developed, especially to hunt down rats from Russell. They say bull terrier, but I think it's more of another source of bull in there. And also, I think a little bit bigger blood was added to that nose. But there's a difference between romance and real working dogs, real hunting stuff. And adding bull, for example, from non working stock. Would be uh, altogether not as good as adding, for example, petadil from hunting stock, which also has a lot of the proprieties or how do you say it characteristics of a blue blooded dog, but is developed as a hunting dog and still used as such. Also, a lot of persons uh, now, if they have a Terrier, a terrier that needs improvement, they look up to the petadil for improving it. So also the plumber terrier, I've seen numerous cases that they added petadil blood to improve it. Also border and other working terriers would benefit from petadil blood. I know someone who breeds them uh, to help his line of Parson Russell Terriers. So, it's the same uh, with a game dog or even a greyhound, an allergic type of dogs. Some breeds really help and are very good at what they do. And you could uh, use them to get your dog breed in better shape. Especially if it uh, hasn't been worked as hard lately. You could get some vigor back into them. Spike is now 10 months old. It's really a pleasure to walk your dog and do other things with it. Helps the bones also. Very good for your own health, that you need to walk and go out. And some people even have the benefit of additional socializing, because their social skills might be not as good developed. And then if you have a dog, they can use that to talk some, to some other people about their dog or what have you not. Know. 